We're taken into a zone called Cadillac. Nick was about to get in the chopper and go up to the very top of the mountain. It was a pretty nerve-wracking phase. I mean, we have total trust in Nick, but, you know, watching that kind of skiing happen in real time. Okay, drop it, Ted. It's pretty scary <laughs> sometimes. It's March and we've been invited up here to Blue River. I've never seen this much terrain ever. It's mind blowing. That's the sickest thing I've ever done in my life. Wow, I cannot believe that I'm here. <laughs> oh, I'm too pumped. <laughs> Your crew is so important. You know, you need the right people there to bounce ideas off of, to support you. It's how you can accomplish things. Yeah, I've, I felt so lucky to be with Alex and Tom. But there was uh, a couple of kind of shorter pitches just to the looker left of the main terrain. It was a good call to do a warm up run. The days keep dragging on, those rats keep pushing on. Whoa. Yeah, dude. Get it, bro. This trip, it's been just like kind of foot on the gas right out of the gate. Nick was about to get in the chopper and go up to the very top of the mountain. The Cadillac Wall. This really cool spiny face that's a little bit complicated. It's a really long technical line. Quite some pepper in it too. The way things have been going and just the stability we had and the confidence we had built, it just was calling out to me. I was really close on him with my um, pocket camera and I was able to ski down uh, yeah, right off Cadillac Peak, which is a super cool place to ski and seeing the track afterwards is pretty rewarding. Wow, that was full on. You were full Ant-Man when you dropped in. We were like, oh my God, he is a tiny man on a large man. Yeah, dude, yeah. I, could, I could barely find you with this thing yeah. and it's got 28X zoom, bro. Yeah. We just all knew that we had just seen something like insanely special that might never happen again. <laughs> what a day that was, wow. Phew, I'm still tripping.